Joseph Cochran here, and this time I'll be doing a character voice comparison to The Invisible Woman. So full volume, full screen, and let's go! I'll say yeah. She sounds like Wilma. <laughs> Forgive me about that. So that she passed away. Turning it into a dangerous freak. The whole story is here in our book, Dick. We wrote it especially for your telethon to help raise I think I remember I think this was still my childhood as well, so when Fox Kids was around. I find you fascinating. It's the man behind the mask that intrigues me. I miss the nineties. I want to know more about you. All of them. But he has forgotten that you're the one leading us now. What do you yes. want us to do? Unbelievable. I, I remember that episode. The, 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 the spi my Spider-Man the Animated Series was still my childhood. The horrible acid burns that ruined your face. They're gone. Yes! I still love the film. And I think she re she always be an um, invisible woman. She was so hot back then. Fine, Victor. I'll be in your office tomorrow morning to straighten this all out. And how she... Reed needs me now more than ever. I'm sorry, Victor. My story begins with a flight into outer space. Aboard a ship created by Reed Richards, my boyfriend at the time. Ben Grimm was the pilot... I'll say yeah, but I still don't have those games. As soon as we left the atmosphere, the ship was bombarded by radiation and it went crashing back to Earth. Shortly after that, we discovered the radiation had given us superpowers. I gained the ability to turn invisible, as well as create force fields of any shape or size. Yep. And as a member of the Fantastic Four, I took on the code name Invisible Woman. Together, my team. I prefer the word Invisible Woman better, things. better than Invisible but there Girl. There are times I enjoy working on my own, like the time I battled Radioactive Man. My name is Susan Storm. That's my brother, Johnny. We belong to a team known as the Fantastic I still, Four. Yes. Obviously you the Cartoon know Network the series was still my childhood. Was better than half my team. Hey. And from the look of it, I'd wager at least part of you is from the surface world. <laughs> Must be the arrogant part. My father was a surface dweller. What of it? What of it? You're part of both worlds, Namor. Human and Atlantean. It matters. All I want is oh, um, to convince you that the surface world isn't all bad. There can be Samarina. He's talking, she's talking this would to. This so have to happen when I'm still trying to find a caterer. Oi, the wedding. Don't push it. Someone must have... I'll say maybe. ...that would have warned Craig off of a cosmic storm. There's a common theme. A herald... Almost sounds like Jessica Alba. ...great destructor. According to these carvings... Well, she's got the lightness. I'm not a fan of superhero squad, so I'll give her thumbs up. I like to have a strong better as Batgirl. Yes. But still a fan of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I still miss that show. Hi, Tony. Reed's in his lab. He's expecting you. Tell Reed that Jan and I are having some girl time. Assuming he notices you're there. I'm impressed. The Fantastic Four put a few bad guys away in here, but we're mostly just out exploring whatever new thing Reed's found. You Avengers, though? You've been busy. Doctor Doom has created an army of robots. Still not a fan of Super Heroes. I'll give her a thumbs up. I like to as Daphne better. I'll say yeah. Sue, any word from Reed or She Hulk? Reed's trying to figure out a way to stop that. 
Oh, okay. To me, it would always be Jessica... Jessica... My mum pick will always be Jessica Elba. Because the movie's better. I don't know who would play her in, um, in the MCU soon. Or Reed, which I forgot. That was my voice comparison of um, Invisible Woman. So, comment down below who do you like. And I'll see you another time.